there everybody, my name is Aaron Chalner, aka Coaster Chow, Donkster Born, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update. Now today, we're going to be talking about Knott's Berry Farm in California. Now this is all about this potential removal of one of their coasters. Now, I'm going to talk about which coaster it is, or you can probably guess from the title of the video. However, before we get started into all of that, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media, and make sure you keep getting your questions in for our next Q&A session for when we celebrate 2,000 subscribers, when we hit that milestone. We've and by the way, guys, we've hit 1,600 subscribers, so we're only 400 away from 2,000, which is unbelievable. So thank you guys so, so much for that. Thank you so much for hitting 1,600 subs. It's not me that's done it, it's you that's done it, because you cared about the channel. So big, big thank you from me to you. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So, Knott's Berry Farm is a park in California, home to some fantastic roller coasters such as Silver Bullet, which is the park's Bolger and Mabillard inverted roller coaster. You've got the most recent of coasters, Hang Time, uh, which is their Gerslauer Infinity coaster that replaced the old Boomerang, uh, for those of you who remember that one on the boardwalk section of the park. Uh, you've also got many other fantastic attractions such as Soul Spin, uh, which is a top scan ride that was introduced back in 2017. However, one of the park's current attractions could be either rethemed or potentially leaving the park. Now, I'm going to share with you what I found out based on this potential rumour and the evidence to support it, and also share my theories as to what could be done with the site if they decide to remove this coaster. So, the coaster in question is. Pony Express, which is a Zamperla motor coaster. Now, many of you might not know what that is, but it's basically a launch coaster by Zamperla, an Italian manufacturer. Obviously, manufacturer of the likes of a Volair flying coaster, such as Hero at Flamingoland, which is, as you know, not a personal favourite of mine. Uh, but we do have some other decent coasters out there by Zamperla and attractions as well. I think Zamperla's more famous for the flat rides and the family rides, uh, and we all know that. But in terms of coasters, they're maybe not as big as other manufacturers. However, they are still decent with some of their own coaster investments. Pony Express, from what I've heard of reviews, is all right. Uh, not the best coaster in the world, but it's still a decent coaster for some people. However, there's a potential that that could be going. Now, I'm going to show you the evidence to back that up. And then a couple of theories as to what could happen with the site. And one of those theories links to a potential new coaster in another area of ghost town because if you didn't know already this is part of like a a subsection of ghost town themed area in a way like the wild wilderness sort of or the wild water wilderness something like that it's like a subsection of ghost town and it sort of merged into the ghost town area and became like a sub area of ghost town uh, so it's a very very peculiated area but i like what they've done with the subcategories of ghost town and themed it to different parts but this is along with coleco river rapids in the sort of um you know, wild water wilderness kind of section, uh, but Coleco River Rapids is right near it. So I guess Coleco River Rapids kind of was the first phase in what could be a potential redevelopment for that area of Ghost Town. Uh, now let's talk about uh, basically the evidence that's going to support this rumor. So on your screen now, Fandabadozi is the first of the two Instagram stories from Knots that was screenshotted and put on the Coaster Force forum, and I'm sure other forums have done exactly the same. Uh, and basically, the first uh, Instagram screenshot says, I want to send some mail, dot, 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 and a picture of a very sad looking pony. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then the second one on your screen now, Fandabadozi, is basically a quote or like a themed quote by Knott saying I tried to send a letter to my ma using the Pony Express but it looks like all the brave riders have ridden off into the sunset from one horse to another uh, from one horse lover to another I raise my hand in salute but that don't deliver my letter guess I'll have to find the Calico post office so that in theory could maybe not really suggest a re-theme uh, but it could. It could be rethemed to Calico and a, a Calico themed service and maybe theme it to like a train or something. However, I think it's more likely that this coast is going to get removed. Now, of course, round the final turn, they introduced this tunnel to block out noise complaints. Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing it's been very hard to sort of maintain that. And I'm guessing it's been uh, very hard to keep this coaster running. 
Uh, obviously, it's managed by Cedar Fair, so it's not going to be hard in terms of running the coaster in terms of maintenance costs. However, uh, what I mean by hard in running it is, compared to the other coasters, it may not be as popular now. Uh, so I think it's been very hard to keep the popularity going with this coaster. So if it was to be removed, I can see why. Even though it's a decent coaster in some people's eyes, I can see why they would remove it. Uh, in terms of a re-theme, I think a nice Calico re-theme. Again, re-theme it like the Calico River Rapids did with their re-theme uh, back in 2019. And you sort of see how they did with that. It won't be a massive re-theme like that. However, uh, I do believe they'll go like a, like a repaint, maybe some new trains if they were to re-theme it. Now, if they were to remove it, I've got a couple of theories. One theory is a coaster theory. And the other one is an other attractions theory. And that links to another new coaster that could be coming to the park in the near future, in the next few years. So, I'm going to show you first of all the coaster theory. Theory 1, on your screen now. Fan Dabby Dozy, now you're, 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 you're probably thinking, hang on a minute, we see a raptor and fury at Bobby on land. How, what, they've got hang time, why do they need another Gerstler Infinity? Well, for those of you who are wondering, Fury is a multi-launch, it's like a quadruple, triple, quadruple launch uh, coaster. Uh, it's very compact, so it would work in the plot for Pony Express. Uh, and I think not working it as close to where the soundproof tunnel uh, turn was on Pony Express, I think makes it even better and sort of stretch it out and have some of the supports on this grey path. Now I've flipped the image to get a better longer stretch of the plot of land that we could be seeing with this so just to give you guys a better you know clue so i think something like fury like a multi-launch would be good now of course they have accelerator which is a normal launch and to be fair not berry farms coaster cow will actually come in handy uh with this uh they've got a mac wild mouse They've got Ghost Rider near, next door nearly, which is a custom coaster international wooden coaster. They've got the uh, Gerstler Infinity Hang Time. They've got the Zero Tivoli, which is Jaguar. They've got the Schwarzkopf Flywheel Shuttle Loop, Montezuma's Revenge. Of course, they've got Pony Express. They've got the Max Spinner, Sierra Sidewinder. Of course, the inspiration for uh, Storm Chaser at Paltons Park coming next year. Ashtai Tornado Springs. Uh, <laughs> they've got Silver Bullet, which is their invert. Timberline Twister, which is their Bradley and K Kids coaster. And of course, they've got Accelerator, which is their Intamin Accelerator singular, singular launch coaster. But they haven't got a multi launch, so I think something like a Fury would work very, very well at the park, even though it is Gerstler and the trains look very similar to hang time in terms of the design maybe not the style and what they look like but maybe the design of the trains look very similar however i think something like a fury would work very very well at the park now i've mentioned an rmc raptor as well and before you say oh the capacity and things like that this that the other just hold on a minute just hold on a minute I think an RMC Raptor would be a good fit for the park and not the clone of Railblazer. I put Railblazer on there because it's a Cedar Fair example. Something like Railblazer, a custom layout with an outstretched layout, out and back, works with the surrounding paths, build the supports around, you know, take over the existing station of Pony Express, take over the existing queue line, that's all sorted, and you can literally shape the layout round the surroundings of the area maybe not and the further you build it closer away from the soundproof tunnel area where the turn was for pony express the more you extend it more the other way like the opposite direction so you got more path to put some supports on and maybe a bit of track in there so maybe not a railblazer clone you never know it could fit but i think a custom layout would be the best fit however i think that a raptor would be the second choice for me i think that something like fury at bobby online would be a more perfect fit because i think a raptor even if you put like a two seater per train on there or two seater per car on each train instead of a one person per car on each train you have like eight cars per train um, I think the capacity would be improved from a, from a usual Raptor, but it still wouldn't be enough because of the layout. I think even if it's a clone or a custom layout, it wouldn't be enough. So, I think something like Fury at Bobby on Land would be a more perfect fix. It's a multi-launch, they haven't got a multi-launch. They have got a flywheel shuttle loop launch. They've got the accelerator coaster, but they haven't got a multi-launch. So I think something like a triple launch or a quadruple launch by Gerstlauer, like a Fiori at Bobby on Land, would be perfect for the park. It'd be a perfect 
compact coaster. Now it could be fill a year for an even bigger coaster as part of a different Ghost Town expansion. And that is what I get onto with theory number two on your screen now. Fan Davidozzi, now you can see two flat ride types right here. You see a Mondial Revolution, so something like Delirium at King's Dominion, or a Gerslar Skyfly. Now, there was an early rumor a couple of years ago when first talking about this Ghost Town expansion near Ghost Rider, uh, and the fact that a Gerslar Skyfly could be the rumored flat ride, or one of the rumored flat rides as part of this expansion. So, what could I see here? I could see Pony Express being turned into a flat rides package area, kind of like Shockwave at King's Dominion, the Togo stand-up coaster. And you see how that was turned into Delirium and a bit of green space. And of course, if you watch the King's Dominion five-year predictions video, you know that I predicted maybe a family ride or some kind of family thrill ride on the you know extra part of land that was left by Shockwave when Delirium came in. So I think that personally, I'd like to see some kind of flat rides package take over that site. Nowhere near the soundproof tunnel area with the turn uh, of Pony Express, but something like a Frisbee ride and a Skyfly to take over the rest of the plot of land. Now that plays into, on your screen now, Van Davidozzi, the coaster theory. And this is where I think a Gerslau multi-launch or an RMC Raptor with two people per car, not one, uh, <laughs> could come in. So this is another site for the coaster and that is the rumoured Ghost Town expansion near Ghost Rider in future years. So that's how the coaster theory and the flat ride theory plays out. I think they could go for the coaster on that site or they could turn that site into a flat ride package and move the coaster of the next major coaster onto that ghost town expansion plot of land now obviously all theories could be correct all theories may not be correct but it's just my predictions as to where they could go they could go on the coaster route and bring in an rmc raptor with two people per car uh or this you know multi-launch girl like a fury at bobby on land i keep using that as an example um or something like, uh, I wouldn't say a Premier Skyrocket 2, but you see that kind of, you know, multi-launch uh, style. Uh, but with the, um, obviously the, um, you know, the different, obviously logistics of it will be, you know, different. With Gerslar coming in, and I don't think Premier would be a good fit for the park. And I think that Gerslar would be a better fit. But something like a compact, like Premier does with the Skyrockets, but like Gerstow does with Fury at Bobby on Land. A compact, multi-launch coaster. Something like that. And RMC Raptor would still be a good fit with two people per car, but depending on the layout, I think that would be best suited for the other Ghost Town expansion site near Ghost Rider. I think the RMC Raptor with two people per car would be perfect for that site rather than replacing Pony Express directly. So I think if we were to see two coasters in a few years, I'd like to see Pony Express replaced with this compact multi-launch by Gerstler, and then I'd like to see some kind of RMC Raptor with two people per car and a custom layout next to Ghost Rider, and maybe even intertwine with Ghost Rider's layout a bit. Um, but the other route that could go is put the coaster on that site anyway, but then in the Pony Express site, you bring in a flat rides package, so a Skyfly, a Frisbee ride, maybe a couple of family rides as well. You look at the stuff at Canada's Wonderland with Flying Canoes. Something like that would work very, very well at Knott's. Um, just these different flat rides and family rides, just to fill in the site, but it's not too complicated in terms of a out and out replacement. So there's a couple of theories there that could work and might not work. But obviously it's your choice. You guys comment down below your theories of what you want to see replace Pony Express. And, you know, do you see the coaster replacing Pony Express or on this expansion site near Ghost Rider? Uh, comment down below your thoughts and feelings. I'll reply to every single comment. You know I do. And for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this news update from Knott's Berry Farm. Very surprising news, actually. Obviously, we know it's not confirmed that Pony Express is leaving or being rethemed. However, again, comment down below. Do you think Pony Ex do you think this teasing is a sign that Pony Express is gone from the park? Comment down below your opinions, and I'll reply to every single comment. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park newsroom update. Keep living the coast life. Please like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell to see never miss YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Aaron Chalner, aka Coastal Chal, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.